Hey guys. Well, guess what? Ruby's back. There she is. <coughs> yes. Ruby is back. Uh, I'm going to flip this camera around. <coughs> so, new engine, new gearbox. I've not put the plastics back on yet, the fairings, because when I was taking them off to start stripping this, uh, to try and get this engine out, the uh, some of the clips and screws completely broke. So, no fairings for now. Uh, but yeah, new engine, new gearbox. Uh, cost me £400 for the new box and gearbox. Uh, yeah, £400 for a new box and gearbox and about 250 quid on labour with the initial diagnosis and then engine swap. So, what went wrong? It was the gearbox, it was the output shaft. So, let's take a look at what went wrong. So, this is the engine that came out of Ruby. Uh, I apologise for the mess, it's just, I've just thrown it in my little shed for the time being. So yeah, when it first went, I initially thought it was the clutch. Uh, then obviously it turned out that it weren't the clutch, it was the gearbox. And eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed the problem is this the output shaft so as you can see it if it focuses it should have if it'll focus there we go uh, it should have splines all the way across and as you can see there be no splines they've completely worn away there so and that's all the way around they've just completely worn away so the front sprocket that sits on there that should sit on the splines obviously the output shaft was spinning so there's nothing wrong with the gearbox or the engine it's perfect it's just this the output shaft but to fix that to replace it i would have to strip all this down strip all this off so the head the barrel uh take the clutch out split the engine split the gearbox sorry just to get at the output shaft and replace it and then have to rebuild everything put it all back together i am no mechanic i have absolutely no idea so instead i'm just going to strip this down and learn about it learn how it works take it apart have a look you know if, if i can do if i do a good enough job and to a point that I could rebuild it, then I probably will. I might just get the part and rebuild it if I can, but if not, hey, it's gonna be a learning experience to, to break it down. Uh, and I will be doing a video on that, of, uh, of breaking it down. So yeah, that's gonna be the plans. Well, that's what happened. That was uh, that was the problem, purely the output shaft. So until then, yeah, I'm just going to strip it down, have some fun with it. Why not? So <coughs> that's the plan for the old engine and gearbox. Uh, so it's just started spitting, so I'm going to get home because I only nicked out to do a quick video. This is a, an update for you guys of what's going on. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head home now before this wet stuff really starts coming down. But overall, the good news is Ruby is back on the road. Um, still no audio from the helmet cam though. Uh, still need to get a new adapter for that. Uh, but other things keep getting in the way. But I am doing my best to get a bit of content at least. Uh, just having to use my phone at the moment. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's been watching and wishing Ruby the best. Uh, so remember, if you're not, please subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Bye for now.